Hey friends, my name is Osama and I'm back with another video. The dream of achieving net zero emissions by the year 2050 is going to be really difficult and almost impossible without nuclear energy. In this video, I'll be supporting the net zero needs nuclear campaign, which is organized by the young generation in nuclear, representing scientists, engineers and communicators from across the world in the run up to COP26. This campaign takes an approach to promote a scientific and technologically neutral approach to energy policy and financing, which can promote sustainable collaboration between nuclear and renewable. In this video, I'll be highlighting the four reasons why net zero needs nuclear, which are number one, nuclear is a proven and effective low carbon energy source. Number two, nuclear is available, it's scalable and it's deployable. Number three, nuclear is flexible and affordable source of clean energy. Number four, nuclear can deliver more than just low carbon electricity. And number five, nuclear supports inclusive and sustainable developmental goals. All right, let's start with number one. Nuclear is a proven and effective low carbon source of energy. So nuclear energy has been around for the past 60 years. And in that time, it has provided a low carbon and very safe source of energy. It's helped avoid output of around 60 gigatons of carbon into our atmosphere, which would have been produced by fossil fuels. So what does that correlate into? Why is that important? Well, that's around 1.8 million people that would have died from that air pollution alone. 80% of the world's total supply of energy at the moment is coming from fossil fuels. So time is ticking and we need to act fast. We need proven technologies like nuclear, which is at the moment the second largest global source of low carbon energy right next to hydro power. So we need to increase this source of energy in order to help meet our targets. Number two is nuclear is available, it's scalable, and it's deployable. The Global Paris Agreement Accord resulting in landmark agreements to limit global temperature increase to 1.5 degrees Celsius. According to many international organizations, it's projected that we need to more than double our current primary nuclear energy supply by the year 2050. And there are some really good examples of countries which have at a large scale deployed nuclear power. Uh, one example is Swedish nuclear put into place 10.9 gigawatts of new nuclear in the past 15 years. Now this dropped emissions per capita by around 75% since the 1970s. So nuclear is it's an available resource that's out there that can be scaled on a large scale and deployed very quickly. Number three is nuclear is flexible and an affordable source of clean energy. Nuclear can integrate succinctly with many other variable renewable supplies of energy. So like solar and wind, these are intermittent sources of energy, which are off and on. What nuclear can do is it can really play that role uh, that at the moment fossil fuels are playing to replace fossil fuels and work alongside renewables to maintain the flexibility in a grid. Nuclear also has the benefits of supplying other clean energy storage systems like supplying process heat, hydrogen gas production, water desalination, and recent research shows that nuclear is one of the cheapest low carbon technologies that can be deployed. Number four, nuclear can deliver more than just clean energy. Around 40% of the world's greenhouse gas emissions come from the supply of energy production the overwhelming 60% come from other sources like transportation and industri industrial uses. Nuclear is unique because it can not only play a role in preventing greenhouse gas emissions from energy production, but also on the transportation and industrial side. For example, industrial and process heat. So nuclear power has the ability to provide that. It can also help provide energy for seawater desalination and district heating. And also another fuel of the future, which is hydrogen, can be produced using nuclear power. Other reactor technologies can be also be used for plastic production, blast furnacing, and agriculture fertilizer production. All right, number five is nuclear supports inclusive and sustainable goals. So nuclear goes beyond just clean energy. A recent UN report shows how nuclear supports sustainable development goals. Nuclear technology encompasses nine out of the 14 UN sustainability developmental goals. For some of them include zero hunger. So nuclear technology is being used at the moment to prevent pests, help 
crops mitigate the effect of climate change. Number two, good health and well-being. Reactors produce radiomedical isotopes, which help diagnose and prevent cancers. Number three, clean water and sanitation. Nuclear, nuclear technologies can be used to clean wastewater con decontamination. It can also be used to desalinate clean drinking water. Number four, affordable clean energy, uh, life below water. So nu nuclear technologies are, are being used to monitor the world's oceans and their health, uh, life on land. And lastly, in partnerships with these goals. So the nuclear industry across the world are partnering to achieve these UN sustainability developmental goals. All right, so there you have it. Those are the five reasons why net zero needs nuclear. I uh, hope you enjoyed. In the link below is a campaign which I hope you can sign. And uh, till next time. Thank you.